Hello, welcome to another episode of the Deck Turtle. So, in today's episode, we've got a card pull from Champions of Kamigawa. Let's just have a quick look here and see what sort of angles we can try. This is by Rarity. Swirl the mists. Merging of life's web. So nine to cast. Pretty heavily invested in green there. And then it's indestructible because it comes into play with this divinity counter on it. If you take the divinity counter off, put any number of creature cards from your hand into play. And course by doing that it's no longer indestructible. The question with this is is that by the time you've got this out how full are you going to be able to get your hand? I've got a tide of war. I don't know how I feel about coin flipping. Mind blaze. A bit too random and then we've got ben ben necky hermit so it's a pinger but when you ping it deals damage to target attacking creature because the number of untapped mountains you control so i don't want to do this in a red deck primarily splashing one other color but i don't know if I've got enough red to pull that off. And then we've got a Yoshi, the Morning Star. So 5-5 five, five for 6. It fly, has flying as well. And um, when it gets put into the graveyard, a target player skips his or her next untap step. Tap up to 5 target permanents that player controls. So it's obviously a pretty powerful creature in itself um, if it did end up in the graveyard then you would want something to follow this through so that you could leverage all of this stuff that's been tapped down and you've gained a turn it's tricky actually what have we got equipment wise that might be interesting Counters removed. It's like a hmm, it's like a ping theme deck. What I'm tempted to do, I think, I'm just going to build two decks. Um, is I'm going to start off with with one deck. I'm going to start off with white. And then just add in a colour for support cards. With this one, I'm going to just see what happens and just go for a red splashing something else or another colour as a small of a second colour. I don't know if I've got it red for just for a splash. Um, I have another colour. And but if straight away I don't I don't think there's enough red cards to really make this work then I'll, I'll do something else maybe in green but we see there's, there's lots of angles we could do here I could certainly go spirit tribal um, although I would need to make sure that I've got stuff to synergize Certainly got plenty of options in white by the look of things. So we'll do that first. We'll we'll go with a I'll take out all the other colours apart from white, leaving 
any appropriate artifacts and then see how that pans out it might end up being white blue but you never know oops yep one thing you need to do with this is make sure you do that right okay I was hoping to sort of try some of the um, keyword abilities in this that are part of this set. There is, I've noticed there's a number of Bushido cards in here. I don't know if there's one of it, enough of any particular um, of the, you know, the, the keywords specifically to the set that are represented in this pool or not. I will see. Interesting. I don't know if that's going to help me. It's against a spirit deck. I'll leave these in. Looks like we've got a bit of a tap down theme going on. <laughs> oh, I've got the the rend <laughs> the rend flesh rend spirit um, mirror. Okay, there, there's some. This actually, I wonder whether I should. Do white with black for removal, maybe. We'll see, we'll uh, so take everything out. A number of rats and foxes and Second deck, I don't know if I'm going to have enough red to pull that off. As you can see, there were obviously certain creature tribal elements that were in certain colours, but there was definitely spirits across all colours by the looks of things. Okay. Four. 
So we did have four samurais. But I probably want to play that anyway. Won't bother with any fog effects. So let's sync this one through. Yeah, I'm really gonna waste a creature. Yeah, I don't think that's effective. I like this. I like that. Tap down's fine. Maybe I don't want to play too many enchantments. I like that. Cage of hands. So that's fine. So we just got to, now, this is the thing. So. Spirits would probably be spirits. It can get super annoying. All right. decisions. It's too good not to want to play. Okay. Let's just play this. Yeah. looking I don't think I've got any more samurais here it was just a white thing so much card draw Maybe the next deck I'll build, I'll do something a bit weird. Maybe I'll play blue-green. These look interesting for... Mm. Uh, maybe not. Thinking ahead here. <laughs> How many are I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 15, take that out.
Okay, I think I think what I'll do for the next deck, I'm going to go green, splashing red, but I'm not I'm not really going to bother with um, this fella here. That's better than one I red deck. Okay, so <laughs> twenty three cards. looking to see if there's any other creature that might be better at home in here. Okay. Right. So, what do we need? We're not going to need a ton of black because they're all single black mana. We are really just splashing black, mainly for the removal. This is not that strong, but anyway, we'll see. Look at this. It's <laughs> interesting. Take a look at that. Um, see where that's from. Oh. Infinity. Okay, it's an unset. Wow. Right, anyway, let's equip it with the correct style stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, let's do that. My swamps. It's more late game, really. The question is how late. Right, let's go for it. What have we got? Devoted retainer. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> okay, I say interesting because we can't play anything because we don't have any planes. Okay, let's just mulligan. Yep, okay. Get this out. So here really I'm just gold fishing this so I can get an idea of the curve more than anything. I'm not necessarily going to be swinging for damage. We'll, we'll just have that as a given. But this is not good. So yeah, at this point I'm swinging. Can't play thing. I'm going to get seriously stuck here. Okay. No two drops, so I still can't do anything. Swing in. Okay. 
No, I'm seriously messed up. Oh yeah, no, this is not good. Oh, now we got a swamp. So our Ren Spirit is online now. Yeah, this is not brilliant. I think that's the only creature I can play. Wow. This is not very good at all. I'm just going to recheck the deck to make sure, you know, sometimes things do go a bit wonky. <clears throat> Why have we got 41 cards in the deck? That's not right. Okay, that's slightly better. In fact, that's much better. Okay, so we got enough land. To take us through and play everything in the hand here. Let's try this again. Okay, so that's fine. Right. So we were in flesh if we need it. Can't play anything this turn though. fishing so it's really work so again pretend I'm swinging with all of these <laughs> each turn when I can what I'm interested in is when I run out of options well, that's cool so it's going to pump anything here really plus we got that as well this is what you want a nice piece of equipment really okay well let's just play this out anyway I'd probably attach that to a flyer, probably this one. Hmm. Harsh Deceiver, we've got enough mana to actually play that, so that's good. Play this out. And then we got a cool deceiver. So we play that out. Boom. 
So in a moment we're going to reach a point where we can't. So we, yeah. So t so yeah, we're building up nice board state here. Of course, assuming our opponent is doing nothing. Yeah. So it's not too bad. The only problem here I'm worried about. Let me just see what another hand looks like. Well, at least our yeah land draws are looking better now. But there is a good chance we're going to get some draws where we can't really do anything on certain turns. I think the problem is there may be a bit of a hole in the... Um, Yeah, it's not running it's okay. Because we've got that six drops. So that's that one. Yeah, we don't it's just probably a bit too low on creatures really. I don't know, maybe maybe it would have played to play blue as the second colour. In that particular deck. If you do that, then yeah, that would, yeah, I think in light of that, I'd probably be tempted to pull, I'm just going to not play this, I just want to see what this looks like. So what I would probably be tempted to do is not worry too much about the card utility. And then actually just play as many, oh yeah, I forgot about that, that's why I wanted to play blue. In fact, that probably makes a lot more sense. Yeah, so we play the clownless deceiver. Maybe. What does that look like? Forty one. I'd have to pull one card. Yeah, maybe that's the deck I should have built. <laughs> um Maybe pull one of the harsh deceivers. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's better. I'd have to give some anything. I've got a yeah. It's always I've got to have something that activates the flying. There was a, yeah, maybe not. It's tricky. Okay, so that would yeah need a bit more work, but yeah, so so white, black, white, blue, yeah, some do something. There. Anyway, let's go on to the. What did I say? I was I was interested in having a look at the green. So, I don't know why this ended up in here, there must have something gone wrong with the, um, the website I used. Right. Well, there's certainly a lot going on in this set anyway. I really, 
you know, and again the other going back to that initial deck of course another option would be to do um, white splashing red yeah I'm just leaving the red removal in here for the moment I want to see what that looks like I did think about doing green blue, but I don't know. You could even go for three colour with like a main colour and then red red and black for the removal maybe. That might be a bit tricky. He sits his hard. Really, I was going to try green white, but I, I don't know how well that synergizes. Really, it just that was the two that had the, the two, uh, two rares in it. Right. So we're doing primarily red for removal. That doesn't really make any sense in this deck. Only if you had enough red cards to do anything. Um, right. So, spice into arcane. We have some arcane spells. Gale Force, which does make sense if we're playing green. Or soul shift the spirit because so it turns on how many spirits we have in it because it can't return itself Those five colour spirits could be a thing. <laughs> right. Oh dear. would work. Man of legends in the set.
Two one for two. To play does that. Okay, we got a ton of two drops. So next time what I would probably do differently is probably attempt to build up tribal spirits deck. Seeing as spirits were obviously a thing in the set um, and play it across, you know, across multiple colours, so attempt that. I think I got seduced by the, uh, the rares. Not to go down that route, but um, the only problem is I've not got really any mana fixing to do a, like a, you know, three plus coloured deck. That would be my only concern. Infinity's coming out, I should check. So here we go. What do we got? Almost as if it doesn't want you to play the, uh, you know, like certain cards want you to play like mono colour, but you just don't have enough in that colour to do that. Okay. So, well, the curve is interesting, if nothing else. <laughs> what have we got? Katoma's Might. Right. So let's play this out. Forest, get it out. That's out. Boom. So Interesting. Get that out. Spirit or arcane spell. So this is the interesting bit. So if I was to play that out and not get too bugged down into the splice, you know, hanging around till I get a, a card to splice, um, that on that makes that a 2-2 two, two, and then the plus 1 and plus on that. So if that's a 4-4, four, 5-5. Four, uh, five, five. Okay, so that's that's cool. Um, yeah, okay, that's good to know. Okay, this is my Gale Force. Play that out. We can now play our Order of the Sacred Bell, which is what? 
four, three for four. Okay. I think I'm actually preferring this deck than the other one. And obviously I'd tap all that down. <laughs> okay. I've got a vine kai. There's a seven drop, so not yet. Um, but we do get to play out our Order of the Sacred Bell. So yeah, this is building up nicely. Plus I completely forgot about this, of course. This um, can be attached to various things. The 4-3 with... No, 6-3 with First Strike. So yeah, I'm definitely preferring this uh, this deck to the previous one. The Forest. So one more. Oh no, two more. It's a shame we haven't got a mana door. There is one in here somewhere. So again, we'd just be swinging with this lot as appropriate. Oh, we have a lava spike. That's good. That's playable. So basically, we have uh, a pump spell, which probably would have been played by now. Let's assume that would have been played by now. Um, and two pieces of removal, both of which are playable if our mana's open. Crushing Pain. Okay, so another piece of removal. So we really can't do anything until... Oh, guys, okay, so we got this. So let's just play that out. We would have tapped these two down, say, and then draw again. Mountain. Still can't play our Vine Cami. I suspect by the time this come out, came out, <laughs> We would have done enough damage. There's our decoy. So what's that sort of three mana? Can you do? So let's say we tap that, play that. Well, the good thing is we've got plenty of options here. I'd swear to play this out. That was all. Search a library legendary creature card, reveal it. Oh, okay. So we could obviously use that to hunt down our, our, our nine drop. <laughs> but we couldn't play yet anyway. Where's that? Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. Let me tap all of these. Can I tap everything? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So what's left? Let's just have a quick look, see what we didn't draw. Hearth Cami. Again, yeah, we, we wanted to. I'm just curious when we would actually get to a point. So we'd actually draw that anyway. Um, I suppose it would be only really worth playing this. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to end up with this in my hand until I was ready to go. So let's just see how long. We won't do anything else. We just how long before one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> so there we have it. Okay, so definitely prefer this deck to the first one I built. Let's just go back. As I've said with the first one, it's white. You could pretty much have just worked your way through the color ply and just tried different splashes, I suppose. That wasn't what the, that wasn't the deck I wanted. So other options which I won't bother building. Um, it looked like there was. Um, I don't know if there was a, a blue back. Would there be a blue back? I don't think there's a blue black spirits deck in here. I don't think that's achievable. I mean, there might be saying that. 
yeah so so another possibility is blue black and leveraging some of the spirits not all the fly not all the uh, blue creatures are spirits but um those that aren't have quite good utility on them or appear to be flyers there is possibly a three plus color spirit deck in here but um the mana fixing is a bit grim to do that so yeah and the next thing i would have probably tried would be a blue black deck so there we have it another another video another episode of the deck turtle thanks for watching bye for now